um, you know, there's different ways of looking at it. You can see that they're, you know, they, they're trying to maybe save the environment, trying to teach us to drive the, the most uh, economical and uh, environmentally friendly speed. We well, could look at them like their cholesterol in the veins of this country. Yeah. I'm old and I'm retired, gonna drive the countryside. At 80 k's an hour in my brand new four-wheel drive I've got a caravan and a colour TV and a microwave to cook my tea TV dinners and the nightly news wherever I may be I'll never get off the beaten track Cause Highway 1 is where it's at I can really slow things down in single lanes from town to town Cause I'm old and I'm retired But before I have expired There's a whole lot more drivers I can drive completely wild Yeah, I'm old and I'm retired I'm gonna drive the countryside Yeah, I had 80 k's an hour In my brand new four-wheel drive State of joy is how you'll find me with 50 cars banked up behind me I'm smiling in my mirror as I watch my tail grow Then I ease off the accelerator I'm gonna make those folks just a little bit later There's no need to hurry They can take it nice and slow Cause I'm old and I'm retired I'm gonna drive the country wild At 80 k's an hour In my brand new four-wheel drive I've got my caravan and a colour TV And the microwave to cook my tea TV dinners, the night news Wherever I may be Okay, so it all started Had a swim in the Litchfield National Park Didn't get eaten by crocodiles Which was a good thing Got back on the road to Darwin. There's a massive thing in the middle of the road. This unpassable mountain of metal. Turns out to be the perfect specimen of the brain over there. They've got a they've got a little map of Australia on the back of their caravan. Just to tease themselves. All the places they're never gonna get to at the rate they're going. <laughs> and the weirdest thing of all is they want to identify themselves. If I was pissing people off everywhere I went, I wouldn't want to be, I'd want to be anonymous. But these guys have got a big sticker, it says, Bill and Susie, nice and cruisy. <laughs> UHF number something or other, why don't you just give us a call? <laughs> Sing us some songs, teach us some words we have never heard. <laughs> we didn't have a CB radio, we were very disappointed. We had a chance to install one in Adelaide and we didn't take the chance. We realised we should have. We have had a great conversation with Bill and Susie. Find out what Meals on Wheels taste like these days. Anyway, <laughs> I won't go too bad. So Bill and Susie, they're driving on. We're trying to imagine what they're listening to at the time, and this is probably it. You got to know when I'm with them. Know when to call them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run, you never count your money. Wasting my Bill and Susie end up doing a bit of dealing later. We'll get to that. <laughs> They're driving along the top end. Susie notices something that scares the absolute living daylights out of there. Bill! Bill! There's a spider on the gear stick! Oh dear. Oh, no, that's not a spider. I've never seen that before. That's, that's a number five. Oh, that's strange. It's Bill and Susie. They make it through Tennant Creek, they hit Banana Bending Territory, they hit the East Coast, they trickle down the East Coast, they dribble into northern New South Wales. There's a rally going on, all these cars are flying past them. They drive through the little town of Yukai where I live. Now Yukai's got a cafe that often shuts at 2.30 in the afternoon. They don't know, they open whenever they feel like it. The general store has nothing in it. The pub shuts at seven. 
That's about it for you guys. So Bill and Susie, uh, they keep driving. Half an hour later, they come to one of the most colourful towns in Australia. <laughs> Our own miniature version of Amsterdam. Look, Bill, they're all dressed up for a party. <laughs> no, dear, I saw it on Four Corners. They're called ferals. <laughs> but Bill and Susie are pretty open-minded. They don't mind ferals. Looks like a great place for a cup of tea and a piece of cake. <laughs> so they pull into the main street. Which, uh, it's called Kyogre Road. It's not called High Street. It's called Kyogre Road. And they step out of their vehicle. I can't believe the variety of local produce available in the main street of Nimue. What's that you got there, Sonny? Why, that's just crazy. When I was a little girl, we used to mow the weeds and throw them away. I would have kept them if I knew they were worth so much money. No, dear, we just wanted a cup of tea and a piece of cake. Ooh, you've got some cake. How much is that bit, dear? That looks nice. Ten dollars. When I was a wee lass, we used to be able to get a cup of tea and a piece of cake for 20 pence. We would still have change. So it better be good cake, son. So Bill and Susie head back into the caravan. With all the joys of modern technology, the ability to expand our carbon footprint in every possible direction, they put on the electric kettle and boil up a pot of Earl Grey tea. And sit down to have some cake. And five very, very incredibly long minutes later, Bill and Susie look at each other. And they say, Doesn't this just capture the feeling? Just that moment? They can't say anything, they can't. Now they do what most modern human beings do in that situation. They pray to God the Simpsons is on. They go and lie down in bed and start channel surfing. Now this is a bit wrong enough to stretch your imagination. They go through every channel on TV and they can't find one episode of The Simpsons. So they're about to give up on TV. And Susie notices me. Bill, Bill, I remember this show. This is the best show Australia's ever produced. She happens to be right on that point. It's three o'clock on the ABC clock. It's the bear and bear, and the chair as well. There are people with games and stories to tell. Open wide, come inside. It's play school. It's play school. Now Bob the Build comes on, it's a little bit too techno for Bill and Susie. So they turn the telly off, and they just lie back in bed. They're in Nimbin after all, this beautiful music drifts in through the window. And Bill musters up a few words. You know, Susie, I've heard this sort of music before. I never used to understand it. But I'm really digging it now. <laughs> Steer it up. <laughs> Bill, darling, steer it up. Dun, 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 dun. Come on and steer it up. Oh, yeah. Bill, darling, steer it up. Dun, 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 dun. Now, Bill and Susie have this un uncharacteristic desire to eat three Mars bars each. <laughs> <laughs> they put their dark sunglasses on, they sneak down to the shops and get some Mars bars. They give their false teeth a workout. But they start to feel a lot better. Their blood sugar levels have reached homeostasis. So they, uh, they feel safe to head south out of that crazy little town. I can hear the horns all blazing. I know it annoys them even more. And my four-wheel drive looks like it just drove off the showroom floor. But the best part of my day is to drive those folks insane When I speed up to a hundred in the overtaking lane Cause I'm old and I am retired I'm gonna drive the countryside At 80 k's an hour in my brand new four-wheel drive I got my caravan and I got a TV and a microwave To do my TV, TV dinners, the night the news Wherever I may be, yes I'm old and I am retired I'm gonna drive the country wide 